Good morning. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Citizen ProMaster Eco Drive reference BN0100-42E. I paid £156 for this watch and I bought the watch from Amazon. So firstly let's look at the watch box that the ProMaster comes in and then I'll talk you through the other items one gets with the piece. So the ProMaster comes in this matte black outer cardboard box which protects the watch box. So one removes the outer box and inside is the matte black cardboard watch box itself. So as you can see it's branded in silver on the lid with Citizen and the tray is also branded with Citizen. So one pulls out the tray from the sleeve and inside the watch itself sits on a piece of bent plastic. So the plastic is covered in vinyl and uh, it's very aesthetically pleasing. Now bearing in mind that this is a low tier price point piece I think it's perfectly acceptable for Citizen to be using cardboard watch boxes because it is finished to an acceptable standard and it does suffice in protecting the watch in shipping. So with regards to other items one gets with the watch the ProMaster comes with this very comprehensive instruction manual which details how to operate the Eco Drive quartz movements. So the instruction manual is translated into multiple foreign languages and there are several comprehensive diagrams. So it details every aspect of how to operate your ProMaster watch. So a very useful read if you're unfamiliar with EcoDrive solar powered quartz movements. One also gets this international guarantee booklet and this is translated into multiple foreign languages and it details the terms and conditions of the ProMaster's 12 month international warranty. So very reassuring to get a 12 month uh, guarantee with the watch. Lastly one also gets this cardboard tag which is branded with Citizen as you can see and on the reverse it has the product barcode, the reference number of the piece and also it details the calibre E168 is the quartz module used in the watch. So with regards to the watch itself I'll talk you through the specifications of this ProMaster. 41mm case, it has a 45mm lug to lug measurement, it has a thickness of 12mm and it has a rather odd 23mm lug width. Now that's something I want to talk about and bring to your attention because it's a major negative of the ProMaster, the use of an odd 23mm lug width. Really for 41mm dive pieces the industry standard has now become either 20mm or 22mm respectively. To use a 23mm lug width really is exceptional and it's unfortunate because it means that collectors are very limited in their choices if you want to change this uh, silicon rubber strap for a bracelet alternatively wear the watch on a NATO strap it's going to make it more difficult to find a 23 millimeter width strap. Now what I will say is if this silicon rubber strap isn't your personal taste Citizen do also make this same ProMaster watch but on a stainless steel bracelet which is oyster style and I have to give due credit and say it is finished to a high standard. So bear in mind that you can buy the same watch on the bracelet if this rubber strap isn't your taste. I personally like the rubber strap, I think it gives the watch a tall watch aesthetic and I do like the comfort factor of this rubber strap and at £156 I really think um, it's a good alternative to the bracelet version which is significantly more expensive. So with the rest of the specifications of the watch I'll talk you through them. Mineral crystal, now there's no AR coating on the underside and the lack of anti-reflective coating means as you can see when one tilts that mineral crystal at an oblique angle it's highly reflective. That means that it's harder to read the applied indices and the arrow hands. I really think that had they used AR coating it would have been a worthwhile upgrade because it would have improved the legibility of the dial and hands. Now mineral crystal is not as scratch resistant as Hardex used by Seiko in the Seiko 5 series nor is it as scratch resistant as sapphire crystal which is much harder. So it's a disappointment, it's a shame that Citizen didn't use sapphire crystal uh, rather than mineral crystal which is a clear cost cutting measure. The bezel is well executed, solid stainless steel uh, bezel, it's a 60 click unidirectional bezel rather than 120 click as one would expect. So that does take some getting used to because the 60 clicks mean that there are larger gaps in between each click. Good solid action, minimal back play and good firm resistance. So it is a pleasant bezel to use in terms of its execution. But however, if you're used to 120 click unidirectional bezels on dive watches, 
you will find the 60 clicks um, feel different. They're larger and heavier. So that's something to bear in mind. Now, what I will say on a positive note is the alignment is perfect. The triangle and loom pip on the aluminium bezel insets do align correctly with a 12 o'clock index on the dial. So no quality control or builds quality issues. It is a well-made, well-executed coin edge bezel. I like the use of the aluminium bezel inserts with these 60 minute ticks. It adds to the aesthetic of the watch, the symmetry of the dial, and it really does give it a vintage tool watch aesthetic. So nice coin edge finishing, nicely executed aluminium bezel insert, and it is a pleasure to use if you don't mind it being 60 click rather than 120 click. So with regards to the rest of the specification, this ProMaster is ISO certified to ISO 6425. And there are certain criteria that a dive piece needs to meet uh, in order for it to be ISO certified. It needs to be 200 meter water resistant, which this is, and it also needs to use a screw down uh, crown and also a screw down case back. So the solid stainless steel screw down case back provides an effective hermetic seal to 200 meters of water resistance, as does the solid stainless steel coin edge finish screw down crown. So two effective 200 meter water resistant hermetic seals. And that means that this watch gains uh, ISO certification to ISO 6425. So it's a credit to Citizen that they're confident in the build quality to submit the ProMaster to ISO for certification. And uh, I really like that aspect of the watch. It is a credible 200 meter quartz powered uh, dive piece. With regards to the case finishing, solid stainless steel. It's 316 L grade stainless steel as one would expect. Nice brush satin finish to the tops of the lugs, the flanks of the case. Now that contrasts with the mirror polishing to the underside of the case. And also, there's a nice mirror polished bevel which is machined to mark a transition between the brush satin finish on the tops of the lugs and the brush satin finish on the flanks. So I like the large bevel and I also like the taper of the lugs uh, on the 41mm case down to that odd 23mm lug width. It's just a shame that it's not 22 as I think that would be better proportioned for a 41mm case. With regards to the execution of the screw down solid stainless steel crown, it does screw down and unscrew smoothly. The threading interface between the internal thread on the screw down crown and the external thread on the stainless steel crown tube are done well. They do mesh well. So silky smooth operation, nice easy to grip crown and the pointed crown guards do a good job in protecting the crown from any damage. So. I like the way it's signed with the ProMaster arrowheads. It's just nicely finished and the coin edge finishing complements the coin edge finishing on the uh, bezel. Now with regards to the case back, it's beautifully executed. I really like it. So I'll just undo the strap and show it to you. Uh, laser engraved with the EcoDrive Globe logo as you can see. Has the Citizen brand logo and it's engraved fully with all the ProMaster specification. Nice concentric brush satin finish to the uh, satin finishing on the case back. As you can see, when you tilt it in the light, you get a nice reflection of the light of that concentric brush uh, finishing. Now, the circumference of the screw down case back has a mirror polish, uh, which is very aesthetically pleasing, complements the mirror polishing to the underside of the case. So I really like it. I think it's a well done solid stainless steel case back. Now the advantage of having just a plain flat case back with laser engraving is that it's very smooth and flat and that means it's comfortable to wear against the wrist for long periods of time. The comfort of the watch is further enhanced by the fact it only weighs 80 grams on the rubber strap and that's significantly lighter than the stainless steel oyster style bracelet used on the uh, steel version. So. I really like um, the fact that it's only 80 grams because it does have the effect of being a weightless watch on the wrist. It really doesn't have any heft. So if you're looking for a large dive piece that's 41 millimeters, but you want something low profile, this is only 12 millimeters, so it will easily fit underneath the shirt cuff. And it is lightweight, so it's going to, going to be comfortable to wear on the wrist. That is the advantage of a quartz powered watch rather than a mechanical automatic powered piece. The fact that quartz movements are significantly lighter and also that's further enhanced by the lightweight silicon rubber strap. Very supple strap, perfectly smooth on the underside so very comfortable to wear on the wrist. I like the use of the expansion waves uh, because they're very practical. 
It's intended that this is a dive piece used around a wetsuit and when one is submerged underwater a wetsuit will expand and the idea behind the expansion waves as you can see is so the strap expands with the wetsuit expanding so one doesn't have to readjust the strap length. It's also very practical to have these expansion waves in the strap for a daily wear piece because in hot weather or when one is active playing sport for example and one's wrist expands through heat it means that you don't have to keep taking the watch off and resizing the strap because the expansion waves allow for some tension to build up in the strap and uh, it's very comfortable to wear as a result. So I'll give you a wrist shot and you can see how it fits on my 8 inch wrist. Now it's often the case that 41mm dive pieces are actually too tight uh, to wear on the strap they come on or the bracelet but as you can see I have an 8 inch wrist and there's plenty of length on the Pro Master strap and I have no difficulty whatsoever in engaging the end of the strap into the two sliding keepers as you can see there's plenty of length. So this 41mm Pro Master will easily fit up to an 8 inch wrist now, although it's a large piece at 41mm, I would say that it will fit collectors with a 6 to 7 inch wrist just as well as it will fit collectors with a larger 7 to 8 inch wrist. The 45mm lug to lug measurement is rather short for a 41mm case. Usually, a 41mm would have a longer length to the lugs, it would have either a 48 or even a 50mm lug to lug measurement. So at 45 millimeters, it does fit very snugly and wrap around the wrist very well. So I would say to you, if you're a collector with a six to seven inch wrist, don't have any reservations about the 41 millimeter case size. I'm confident it will fit your wrist. With regards to the buckle and tang, it's solid stainless steel, brushed satin finish to the buckle, and as you can see, it's laser engraved with the ProMaster Arrowhead uh, branding. So finished to an acceptable standard and it's going to be durable and last. So I like the strap, I like the fact the two sliding keepers are quite thick so they're not going to split and break. And it just feels like a good quality silicon rubber strap. It's soft and supple from the, uh, the beginning so it's not going to need any breaking in. And I think you're going to find it very comfortable to wear for long periods of time. Now, with regards to the quartz movement used in this uh, Pro, uh, Pro Master, I'll talk you through it. The Calibre e E168 uh, quartz is a very reliable, well-proven quartz movement. Citizen have used the E168 in a number of EcoDrive watches over the years, and there are no reliability or quality control issues with it whatsoever. Very durable, reliable, solid quartz movement. Now the benefit of it being an eco drive is it's, it's solar powered through the dial and that means that this uh, caliber E168 has up to a 180 day power reserve so that's nearly six months of power reserve. Now the other positive of the eco drive um, E168 movements is that it has a stated accuracy of plus or minus 15 seconds per month. So it's the perfect compromise because one has 180 days power reserve but one also has good accuracy, plus or minus 15 seconds per month. So good balance between power reserve and also good balance between um, accuracy. The quartz oscillator is solar powered and it runs at a frequency of 32,768 Hz. So the advantage of that high frequency uh, quartz oscillator is that it means it's an accurate quartz movement and that's um, shown with the plus or minus 15 seconds per month. So I like it. The Calibre E168 is one of the best Citizen uh, EcoDrive quartz movements. I think it's a good choice for this ProMaster. So let's do a loom test and we'll see how the loom performs when it's charged up to the absolute maximum. Now I'm going to use my 100 LED torch to charge up the loom on the dial and hands and we'll see how it performs uh, when it's charged to its peak performance. Right, so that's now fully charged and as you can see it hasn't disappointed. The advantage of the large applied indices mean that there are large loom plots. Good symmetry to the applied indices. I like the large arrowhead hands because it's clearly um, easy to differentiate between the hour hand and also the minute hand which is orange and plonger style. So I really like it. I like the symmetry and I like the use of a triangle at the 12 o'clock index to give orientation to the dial. It's glowing brightly and it's continuing to glow for a good length of time. So I'm pleased to report that Citizen haven't cut any corners with the loom used in the ProMaster. However, there is one negative that you can see. 
If you look at the loom pip uh, on the triangle on the bezel insert, it's glowing green. And that contrasts with the blue tone of the loom used on the indices and the hands. So I think it's a mistake that Citizen have made to use green loom on the loom pip, but to use blue loom on the applied indices and also the hands. I don't know why they didn't just use the same colour blue on the um, loom pip. It would have been better. It would have complemented the loom on the dial and hands rather than contrasting with it. So that's a minor negative, but I feel it's something one could live with. So lastly, I'll summarise the piece. What do I think of it overall? Well, when I'm considering reviewing a watch for my channel, the watch should meet two criteria. The watch should be both excellent quality and excellent value at the respective price point. At £156 price point, this certainly is excellent value. I have no uh, criticisms whatsoever. Yes, the use of mineral crystal is a cost-cutting measure, but one can overlook that and accept it because one is going to get those kind of cost-cutting measures at this price point. Apart from that, I think it is good value. With regards to the quality, the quality control, the build's quality and the finishing are all excellent. So, yes, I think it's an excellent quality and excellent value piece, and I'm going to highly recommend it to you for your consideration. I think this Citizen ProMaster EcoDrive is a good watch for £156, and I think it's a credible alternative to a Seiko 5, for example. If you're looking for a no-nonsense daily wear piece and you don't want the hassle of hand-winding a, a, a piece to top up the power reserve and have to wear it for 8 to 12 hours per day to keep the automatic movement charged, this is a good thing about the 180-day um, power reserve of this solar-powered um, quartz piece. You can simply pick the watch up and you don't have to keep resetting the date complication, you don't have to manually wind it. It will run for up to six months and you will still get plus or minus 15 seconds per month accuracy, which is very good. So it's a practical, no nonsense watch. And the fact that it's only 80 grams means it's comfortable and it's only 12 millimeters thick. So it's going to fit underneath the shirt cuff easily. So I think it's a very good watch and I hope you've enjoyed my review of it. Please feel free to post your own comments below the video. Thank you very much.